In this hall are labor leaders, rights activists and social commentators. They're here to celebrate the late South African leader, Nelson Mandela, on his posthumous birthday. He has been remembered across the world for his contribution to global peace and development. The president of the Houston Union opens the meeting with lessons he believes Nigeria should learn from the life of the late icon. Selflessness, committed, transparency, and above all, a reconciliator. A former governor of Kaduna State and chairman of the occasion asks Nigeria's president to form a government of national unity which he believes will be in the public interest. He also urges the current government to open channels of dialogue between the federal government and militant groups. Governments have dialogue with their opponents even when they are in arms. Not all of them are, not, are in arms. The BR parents are not in arms. The Niger Delta, some of them are not, but you know, even in the Niger Delta, those who are, have taken arms are just a few. Now, call all of them to a dialogue. On his part, a former deputy president of the Nigeria Labour Congress, Isa Remu, while commending the government for its fight against corruption, asks that the fight be impartial. We must acknowledge that we're having for the first time, a recent time, a frontal attack against corruption. And the revelations are massive, you know. Uh, according to the Minister of Information, close to 1.3 trillion Naira had been recovered from corrupt practices. That's a quarter of two 2016 budget. Our advice to President Buhari is that this anti-corruption campaign must be seen to be holistic, the administration must make the effort to remove all the doubt, you know, and the suspicions that the campaign is selective. Participants at this forum believe that Nigeria can have a respected place in the Committee of Nations if political leaders emulate the qualities of the late anti-apartheid leader.